I'm not even slightly in there. Um, guys, today, what we're doing, I'm at my friend's yard. Quiet in the back, please. We've also, we've got three dogs today. We're looking after Otis's sister, Crunchy. That's Crunchy. Um, so it's all a little bit hectic. What's new? What's new? It always is. Um, I'm at my friend's yard and I've not been here since she moved into it. So I just wanted to come and, you know, scope it out, see what's going on. I might ride one of her youngsters. So that might be some exciting video for you. Or it could just be like a yard tour. I, I have actually been to this yard years and years ago when I was looking to buy a horse and I ended up getting Billy. The first horse I came to look at was called Sunny. And funnily enough, he was a big grey. I just obviously had a thing for big greys. Idiot, what was I thinking? So, I came here, tried a horse called Sunny, it turned out not to be the one, but I just thought it was quite funny. She was sending me pictures of the yard and I was like, I know, I know that. I was like, is that in such and such? She was like, yeah. I was like, yes, yes, I've been here. So, um, yeah, not relevant, sort of relevant, sort of interesting, but, ah, excuse me, order, get back. I will have order. Anyway, so it's um, it's 12 o'clock, just gone, and Nora isn't here yet, so we're just parked up waiting. I'm layered up, as you can probably tell. Um, are they adorable? Aren't you adorable? Yeah, we'll wait for Laura and see what happens. The world's an oyster. <laughs> So we've just taken the dogs for a walk, which is why my hair looks crazy. Um, I'm going to put my boots and my hat on and I'm going to get on Monty, which is a five-year-old chestnut warm blood boy boy laura's like are you sure you want to get on him i don't want you to get hurt so i think he's a bit of a spicy character i'm not in the mood to get thrown off anything like i'm just especially not even one of my horses so um we'll see if i can't if i'm not feeling it i'll just have a little walk and a trot and get off also shout out to my niece laura yesterday i got a text from her saying i've broken my ankle lol and uh, she fell off her pony and she's now in a cast for however many weeks and is unable to ride but um even with a broken ankle she got back on her pony and finished riding so a legend we stan a queen brave brave girl or stupid or both but you've got to be a bit brave and stupid to be a horse rider haven't you more stupid than brave over here but wish me luck Go on, Monty. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. What your bribe? He's a bit wound up. More so this is Monty. Um, I don't really know how to describe his way of going at the moment. He's very, very green. He's not had an awful lot of time being schooled but he's got such lovely, lovely movements. He just can't keep it up for very long. Oh my goodness, the amount of leg this horse took. He, as soon as you got on him, well, as soon as I got on him, I just felt all of this energy underneath the saddle and it just feels like he's going to explode. And then you ask him to start trotting or cantering as I'm trying to get him to do here and he's not having any of it. And he just feels like the laziest horse in the world, but you know, that it could go either way. If you well booted done. him, he could just launch himself upwards. So I was erring a bit on the side of caution, trying to ride him quietly, but also there were times when I was like, for goodness sake, just get moving, boy. 
but this canter towards the end is lovely and yeah he he's a lovely horse to ride and i'm sure he will go very far aren't we happy together Greetings. I don't know why I look like a vicar, but I do, and that's fine. Um, I went for lunch, and I came home. I sat down at the top of my stairs with the dogs, and it's like an hour later, and I've accomplished nothing. So I'm going to go up to the stables, and McAllis is the only one in. The other two are out in the field on holiday, so I need to give them some haylage. And I just need to check McAllister's leg because he's had such bad mud fever, like the worst. I think I'm going to have to get him some antibiotics because it's just not getting any better. Um, but I did get my friend who I was with today, Laura, she recommended Aroma Heal, which looks really good. Put it on a bit like Sudocrem, but just under cling film over their legs. And she seemed pretty, um, pretty sure that would work. So I'm going to give it a try because I've got nothing to lose. And He's so sore on them. He's barely putting his back foot on the floor. Like, it's not good. His heel is just oozing. So, we don't want oozy heels, do we? So, I'm really tired. <laughs> it was a really long dog walk. And as well, it was made even more difficult by the fact that there were so many styles. And the puppies aren't really, they're not au fait with styles. So, I was having to pick them both up. And then Laura was having to catch them and bring them back down. And I mean, they're heavy dogs. Otis went to the vets last week and he was 22 kilos. Crunchy is a bit smaller. So she's probably like maybe 17, 18 kilos as a guess. A little guesstimate for you. But still, I mean, it was hard going and we were walking for, I don't know, an hour, just over an hour. So active Sunday, ready to hit it hard tomorrow. with Paul McAllister and his leg really is sore, the poor little boy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to follow along at home, you need some aroma heel and some cling film and of course a bandage. That's on his leg, we need to take that off. I never know whether it's easy to roll it as you go or to not mess around and just do it. I don't know, I don't know. You never get them quite tight enough like this, but he really does need antibiotics. Like his whole leg has swollen up and it's only come on, I wrote him on Monday and he was fine, Tuesday fine. It was at Wednesday, Thursday it came on and today is Sunday. So it started quite mild and it's just got ferocious cling film, which Sorry, Otis, you're going to want to vacate the surgery. Otis! Thank you. I mean, it's not even as swollen as it was this morning. And it's still, like, I can feel it. It's so... I don't want to say swollen again, but it's just so swollen. Can you come closer? Also, it's covered in pseudocrem, so you can't really see, but it was so so grotty this morning it was just scabby and oozy okay so next up guys take your aroma heel i don't think i need to clean off the pseudocrem because it's probably all the same sort of thing like it's a healing cream isn't it um what does it say apply once or twice daily to sore or cracked skin ensuring any scabs are completely covered Okay, well, I'm going to do that, but I am going to cover it in cling film just to make sure it doesn't dry off if I get kicked in the head. R.I.P. me? I know, baby, I know. I know, honey. Come here. Oh, baby, I know. I know. He's so sore. Poor 
cool this a boy. Okay. 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 Wait. Um. Don't surgeons get someone else to pass them stuff like scalpel, please? Get me some cling film that isn't. I've lost the end. Where's the end? Okie dokie. Let's, get, let's wrap this baby up. Oh, that drives me nuts. You know when it half starts to... What the hell? Right. If I just rip it really hard, will that... I've got better things to do with my time than rip off clean... You know what I mean? Bloody hell. Cut the tape because I'm going to lose my temper. Right. We'll try again. We're not wrapping a birthday present for the queen. You just want to make sure that the area is covered so that the cream doesn't dry out and just fall off. Lovely job. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Thanks. Thank you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this jumble sale. Jumble sale. Welcome just before you go to sleep tonight say a little prayer please for McAllister and his mud fever because he would love your support and also a little prayer for my niece and her broken ankle bye <laughs>